Hello everybody, welcome back to this channel and welcome to Let's Go Eevee. I've been willing I've been wanting to play this for the last couple months, and I now get the chance to. Even though this is the third time I've had to record this episode, because of stupid little things of the files corrupting. Oh gosh. <laughs> At least I had the strap on it. Um let's get to it. Oh, hi, Evie. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. If you want to know how people tend to interact with these Pokemon, well, some people can... Uh, can you stop going fast? As for myself... I study Pokemon as a profession. Now, why don't you tell me about yourself? He talks way too freaking fast. <laughs> I'm gonna choose this one because it's the only one that like closely resembles what I look like right now. So, right. So your name is Fallen. Yes, it is. This boy here is your friend and rival who has grown up right next door to you. What is his name now? Hmm, I see. His name is Bob. Fallen, my boy. Very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold. Yes, a world of, po of dreams and adventure with Pokemon await. Let's go, Eevee. <laughs> Let's go, Eevee. Am I, am I having a breakdown or something like that, or am I just, like, crazy? <laughs> I feel like that Joy-Con's a little too big. Like, I feel like that Switch in this game is, like, way too big for this carrot kid. The Switch is not as big as a head. Well, maybe. But it doesn't... I don't feel like it's that big. <laughs> uh, here's a big plush of Eevee. Oh, and cool. The poster from uh, Blue and Red, or the intro for Blue and Red as a poster. What's over here? <laughs> I can't check it. Oh, but it's, a, it's an old sprite of what they would have in Pokemon Red and Blue. I'm coming up. Up and at him. Morning, Fallen. Fallen. What's going on? We've got one weird look. You got one weird look on your face. Uh, never mind that. I can't wait any longer. So I came to get you. Today's finally the big day. We're finally going to get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers. Oh, but before we do, you read the email I sent you yesterday, right? Check your pre computer if you didn't. I'm going to book it to the professor's Professor Oak's lab. So see you there. So, I'm guessing that, or not guessing, I know, but as I said before, like as I said in the other recordings that didn't actually make it, I was like, do I have to do exactly what I was supposed to do in Pokemon Blue, Red, and Yellow, where I don't actually go to Professor Oak's lab, but I already know, so... I feel like play I don't really want to, but I f really feel like I'm gonna play this game in spite. <laughs> They're just anger the whole time. Here's Professor Oak. Well, my good Pidgeys, thank you for the help. I think I understand you a bit better now, thanks to this. Ah, if it isn't fallen. Oh, of course, I promised to give you and Bob your Pokemon today, didn't I? Well, in that case, why don't we head over to... Hmm. What's this?
Oh, you encountered a wild Eevee. Oh my. Oh, my my. I sure wouldn't expect an Eevee to appear around here. But since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't we practice some Pokemon catching? You just have to throw your out your Pokeball and try to... Okay, yeah. Can you not? I have the strap on, okay? Excellent! Party time! Does anybody even get that reference? Am I too old? <laughs> even though I'm only 19 years old. I still feel really old. I grew up in the age of the early 2000s, but I grew up with everything from the 90s. Well, not everything, but that was a pretty fine performance for a first-timer, my boy. Why don't you pick up that Pokeball and give that Eevee you caught a name? What in the... Now that a lively Pokemon, if I've ever seen one... What is the Pokemon I would get if Eevee didn't show up? Wait, hey wait, come back. But yeah, like seriously, what's the Pokemon I would get if Eevee didn't show up? Professor Oak, these Pokeballs were, I swear, there were only two a second ago, but now there are three. Perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is an Eevee that Fallen caught just now. Oh gosh. So wait, Fallen, you caught it yourself? What? I've never seen that happen before. Oh ho ho, how interesting. My boy, this is it. Take that Pokeball and keep good hold of it this time. Oh. And as I've stated many times, that's the journal from Pokemon Forever. So. Sorry if I, like, my eyes don't dart towards, like, the camera itself. <laughs> Looking in the viewfinder. There's Eevee. I've never known for the longest time that Eevee has purple eyes. I know Pikachu has brown eyes, but I've never known Eevee to have purple eyes. Not even my plush right now has purple eyes. Eevee became your, uh, your Pokemon. Hmm, what a strange Pokemon indeed. I sure doesn't seem like Eek staying in one place, but it looks as though it's taken a shine to you, Fallen. Why not give it a name? I am not doing that, sir. I don't give Pokemon names. Even though that D, D Pokemon is them or what I, whatever, I, I don't know. Professor, I choose this one. You got a Pikachu. I'm going to try my best to, like, catch almost every Pokemon in this game. I don't know if it's going to happen. I have a friend who should be getting po uh, Pikachu or whatever, and... He should be able to trade me some Pokemon that I can't get in this game. And I'll trade him the exact same. So, now you're two sitting out. Take this on your journeys. What is that thing, Professor? This is a Pokedex I've designed. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. And it makes an entry for each. This is extremely a high-tech tool. Fallen and Bob... I want you each to take one with you. You got a Pokedex from Professor Oak. You'll find you get you can't get very detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch a po Pokemon to gather the most complete data. Make a complete guide to all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream, but I'm an old man now. Too old to get this job done myself. That's why I want you, my, uh, you young trainers, to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is great undertaking in Pokemon history. Pokedex, huh? We're gonna meet so many Pokemon that keep. This keeps getting better and better. I'm setting out, setting out right now. Following, you should do the same. I think if you're ready, that is. Okay. I feel like this game is not. Like if it, if it was a main story game, it would not be. In the same timeline. Oh, how cute. This is one you got from the professor. What, you caught it yourself? That's amazing. What should I call your new friend, Eevee? It's a lovely Pokemon. 
Wait, now I'm thinking about it. What happened to Ash's house in Kanto? Like, in the ballot town. How en My, how energetic. I suppose that means you two will be setting off on an adventure today, right? Thought this day might come soon. So I planned ahead and got this for you. Am I just living in Ash's old house? Got a town map for mom. Okay. Put Use the town map in your bag. You'll always know exactly where you are. Safe travels. Okay. See you, mom. <laughs> but yeah, like, what happened to Ash's house? Is it, like, this one right here? Am I just living in his house or whatever? There's a Pidgey. Eh. Oh, here's Bellsprout. Oh, crap. I could have gotten an item. <laughs> oh, you encountered a wild Bellsprout. Okay, this is one of the Pokemon that is an exclusive to this one. So... Oh, <laughs> that was weak. <laughs> I'm a big disappointment. Oh, my gosh. At least I caught it. <laughs> and when I get to Viridian Forest, I am going to try and get Bulbasaur. It's not that hard to get Bulbasaur, but I'm still going to at least try <laughs> and not waste your guys' time. Oh, I can still get the item. That's cool. It's going to be a raspberry or something like that. Yep, it's a raspberry. It's the same items as before. I need I need to get a Pidgey. But I don't know if I'm going to get Fly in time for to have Pidgey. So. Oh, cool. I was just a tad bit late. But I still caught it anyway. Where is my Pokeball? <laughs> Sorry. I got a Pokeball. I don't know what I was going to do with that, but I got distracted by something that had popped up on my phone. I need to put do not disturb on that. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, here's Team Rocket. There's Jesse, James, and Meowth. And I'm actually quite sad that Meowth actually doesn't say anything other than what an actual Meowth is supposed to say. Hey, you came up from Pallet Town? You must know Professor Oak, right? Got a delivery for him. But I can't really leave the Pokemart unattended right now. Can I get you to take this Professor Oak for me? Oh gosh, this strap feels really not secure. Took the parcel from a uh, Pokemart clerk. You put the parcel in your bag. Okay, I will. Do you want to head? Yes, I will. Saves me the time. And I'm also going to, when I get the money too, I'm going to try to get uh, Breath of the Wild. And I might do a series on that, but I don't know if that game's going to be too long. Or if I'm even going to finish it. Because I, did, I still have not finished Twilight Princess. Why, Fallen? Back so soon? How's the little Eevee doing? Hmm? Bye. <laughs> and this will be my second time having Eevee as a starter in my whole entire life. Like, this game is the second. First one was back in the day when I played uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness on the GameCube. That was, that was the bomb back then. I don't know if it still is, but it's it, it was amazing when I first played it. Good as me. Eevee here seems like it really come to be a true partner to you, Fallen. I think you've got what it takes to become a great Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? He had a professor the, his parcel. Oh, so my order arrived. Thank you for bringing it to me. Hey, Professor Oak, it's about my Pikachu. It, its moves are... Whoa, Fallen, that's so cool. Eevee just rides on you like that. Ah, uh, now we have Bob as well. What fine timing. Delivered some handy items. I think I'm going to share it with you too. More raspberries. Cool. I'll stop you right there, son. Those berries are for Pokemon to eat, not you. 
when you want to catch a Pokemon, try throwing one of those at your target. Ah, I feel like if I read so much, it's boring. Just plain out boring. <laughs> Didn't feel boring the first time, but it's it's boring. So I want to catch lots of Pokemon different or simply focus on training up your favorites. My only request is that you have fun either way. Okay. And here is the battle we have with our rival for the first time. Wait up. Come on, Fallen. You do know you can uh, do more with Pokemon than just catch them, right? If you're a trainer, you can have Pokemon battles with other trainers too. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's battle time. I don't think my Pokemon are equipped right now to battle you, even though I have more Pokemon than you. Pokemon trainer Bob sent out Pikachu. Let's go, Eevee. <laughs> Tackle. I don't have any potions yet, so it doesn't really matter. I'm still really surprised that Thundershock does not do very much to my Eevee. So... But my tackle apparently does a lot of damage to Eevee, or Pikachu. Even if my attack falls, I'm still going to take a lot of damage from you. Unless you keep doing that. You might survive for one more turn. Yep. And I'm hoping in this series that I stop assuming things. <laughs> they just assume stuff and then I'm just completely dumb. Because later I find out that, no, it's not that or it's not this or whatever. I'm going to stop. I need to stop assuming stuff in general. <laughs> so. Eevee learned quick attack. Party. Pokemon party. Okay. Okay. What? Did I lose? Well, you chose to bring my attack down then instead of actually attacking me, so yeah, you lost. <laughs> Probably should have trained my Pokemon up a bit before trying a battle like that, huh? Let's battle again sometime. You had a higher level Pokemon than I do. Do you enjoy your first taste of battle, young po Fallen? The party of Eevee seems to like it. What? I didn't even read that right. And if I did, I'm surprised. <laughs> I suck at reading stuff, as you guys would know. Hey, Fallen. And here's apparently the big, the older sister of the my friend Robert, or Rob, or Bob. Oh, you just look at Evie. You two are already looking like great friends or partners. And I've got the perfect little gift for such a great team. Here, take this. You got sportswear from your friend's big sister. Put the sportswear in your clothing trunk. Already putting that on Eevee, you can go on adventure in matching clothes. Oh? How much does Eevee even weigh? Oh. This seems so weird. Why'd they bring this thing back? You don't like that. You like it here. I'm gonna give you a berry. Oh, damn it. Uh, what? What? A oh, this sucks. Oh, that's so off. Why is that off? There. Sorry. He seems like Eevee wants to play. For some reason, I'm just all over here. <laughs> Don't forget to show it some love from time to time. Play with Eevee. It has been added to... Okay. It's been added to my hub. Or my main, men main menu. Oh, this guy. This guy right here. Thanks for helping me out with the parcel. Pokemon is a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Why are you here when you told me exactly that you can't leave the Pokemart? How dumb do you think I am? 
I'll give you a sample. Here you go. Ooh, trying to bribe me or buy me off or freaking whatever. I don't know. Trainer's eyes is met. I'll battle with you, my favorite Pokemon. And his favorite Pokemon is apparently a Radit, a Radita, or whatever, or whatever. Youngster Ronnie. Rattata. Rattata. Tat. 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 <laughs> it's like the one thing I think is cool about this game is that you don't actually have to. You don't have to buy the uh, Pokeballs if you don't want to. You can just battle people to get some. So. He's my rival. Hey, you look pretty pleased about something, Fallen. Oh, you beat another trainer. Good job. Well, since you're on that topic, the Pokemon you sent into battle might have lost some HP or PP. Okay. I don't care. I know everything about some of this stuff. Or, I don't know everything, but I know most stuff. I've been playing Pokemon since I was a very young lad or child. Ah, my neck itches. <laughs> but let's... Continue going. Oh, wait. Uh, when I first tried playing this or whatever, I found a useful item down here. No, not down here. Um, was it pewter or was it... No, it was here. I just have to go over here. Yep. And I thought that you would have, like, a rival battle over here for some reason. Like you would in the original games. But that doesn't happen at all. Which actually kind of saddened me. Wait, I could have gone over here? Okay, cool. Great. <laughs> this is an arena. Or an Nidoran. Or what? I can't remember which one's which. I have a hard time extinguishing certain Pokemon. This oh my gosh, I can't even say the word. Distinguish. Oh, he is up here. Hoping to make it to Pokemon League someday? That's where you can battle the strongest of all Pokemon trainers. The ones you call Elite Four. I was hoping maybe I can get a glimpse of them, but the guard at the gate wouldn't even let me pass without any badges. Oh my god, seriously? I didn't even train my Pokemon up. We literally just had a battle. Were you going to have level 10 Pidgey or whatever? Oh, no, you still have... <laughs> At least I don't have to actually worry about training my Pokemon at the moment. Because this game is apparently so easy. I don't have to worry as much. Because I watched a dude on YouTube defeat the Elite Four with just a Metapod. I kind of wish there was difficulty levels in Pokemon. Cause I feel like some games are just way too easy. Wait, you give me level? Yep, it's level seven. Still gonna go down though. So I'm still taking more damage from you than you are of me. For some odd reason. I'm not going to be this way next episode. I know that for sure. Because next episode, I'm not going to... I'm actually going to be happy. Because I don't have to worry about this part anymore. <laughs> this episode might be a little long for an episode. So... I don't know if I'm going to do hour episodes for every single one of them. Or close to an hour. I know I'm going to be recording for an hour. But I don't know if I'm going to have that long of episodes. Bob, maybe, uh, maybe battling like this is just helping you get stronger, huh, Fallen? Oh, well, that works, too. Let's train hard so that someday we both make it to the Pokemon League. I should, I don't understand. Is that little Pikachu, or little, uh, Eevee down there just so that, uh, it tells me that I can use the other controller?
Oh, what the frick? I'm not shooting this way. I'm going this way. I feel like this whole system with, the, like, these remotes are a little more broken than the Wii was. This is actually my first time actually catching a Sparrow. A Spiro, I mean. I need both. I need both of you. Because <laughs> I want to catch as many Pokemon as I possibly can in the series. Oh, seriously? Nice. Very nice. But I feel like um, certain Pokemon will leave battle if you're not careful, which kind of sucks. But that's kind of how this game was designed. If you find an amazing Pokemon, they can choose to run like, all they want. And you can't do nothing about it. Okay, where is the purple one? I actually also never thought that I'd ever play a Pokemon game. One-handed. And there's no way in hell am I buying that Pokeball for 40 bucks. Someone buys me it, I'm willing to accept it because I want a Mew. But there's no way I'm paying as much, like, the money for a game, basically. For, like, a small controller I'm only going to probably use for this game. Excellent. But am I going to catch it, though? Excellent always... Okay. I'm just going to catch it. But excellent al doesn't always mean that I'm going to get it. Okay, now let's go and leave this town and go to Pewter C like City. Or Pewter... Yeah, Pewter City or something. I don't know. I know the names of them. I just don't know if they're cities, towns, or... I should just probably just consider them all cities. Nope. Leave me alone. I already got a Bell Sprout. I pretty much got all the Pokemon that I think in these routes. Here's Viridian Forest. Or sit uh, yeah, Viridian Forest. What am I thinking about? Okay, he doesn't fight. But I can go up here. Uh. Oh, and I think my uh, other Joy-Con is broken. Slightly. And I just got this thing. So, I'm Caterpie. Because when I try to go down, it does not completely want to go down. Unless you, like, do it again. I don't know what to say during, po like, doing the Pokemon stuff. Still really surprised that none of them actually escaped yet. Like, escaped the Pokeball. But at least now I have both starters. <laughs> I'm actually a little surprised that they give you the starter. I don't think they do that in, uh... Let's go Pikachu. I think they don't, like, let you see Eevees everywhere. But where is my Bulbasaur? That's all I'm looking for right now, is Bulbasaur. All these Pokemon that I can see in my screen, but none of them are Bulbasaur. <gasps> Bulbasaur, 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 Bulbasaur. I don't even care what gender. I just want a Bulbasaur. Excellent. No. I'm going to give you Raspberry. I want to see what this does. Hoping that you don't run away. Or that just shoots. Okay. Oh, seriously? I am so terrible at catching Pokemon. I feel like if I were to become a trainer, I'd be the worst one out of every other trainer. Except for I feel like I'd be better than Ash at this game, or Pokemon, because Ash doesn't 
really catch most Pokemon, or he doesn't really do certain things, or... I don't know, but he's not that great of a trainer, apparently. He cares for Pokemon more than he cares for himself from time. Where did I end up? Okay. Let's say, did my game just glitch up? Okay, now let's fight some people. Yay, Bulbasaur. 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 <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I, I can't do voices. Frickin' sucks. Jamanda! <laughs> Squirtle. War Turtle. No, that's Blastoise. Blah. I can't even do. I don't even know what Blastoise says. I am out. As long as this beetle. Do, it, ah. Okay, I'll catch you. It's fine. Oh, shoot. No, I do not want to give up on this. Oh. There. I hate this angle stuff. I hate having to catch a freaking I hate that they move. Like, flying Pokemon move. Or at least Beedrill sucks. I've already wasted almost like 10 Pokeballs on him. I am about to throw my freaking Joy-Con. Dude, I just hit him too. That's bullcrap. I was not freaking close at all. Why? It's not gonna catch it either this time. Oh, cool. The one time I'm negative! <laughs> one time I'm like, no, I'm not gonna be able to catch it! I catch it! Okay, I'm gonna probably get really, really tired of all the leveling up. Every time I catch a freaking Pokemon. <sighs> just so upset. This game's just a little irritating. Is there anything in these trash cans? I never actually checked that. Okay, no, I can't even click on the trash can! Now I'm route two, and now I have to go up and uh, battle Brock. So, oh hey, it's nice to meet you here. You know there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right, Fallen? You can battle against the gym leader there, and he's seriously strong. If you want to get the st stronger, you're definitely gonna try to take him on. Ah, uh, geez, Evie, you're ready for a good battle too, huh? Would it be. You cheer you guys on too, so take these. Buy potions from Bab. Bab. Buy his money. Be gym leader. Okay. So I'm guessing you already defeated the gym leader. I don't. I don't know. Now let's go to the gym. Let's battle Brock. Hi, uh, here to challenge gym, aren't you? I'm not a trainer, but I can tell if you're worthy of challenging the gym leader. Now let's get started. Peter City Gym only allows people who have tight matchups, so you have to have what's ever most effective against rock, so grass and or water. Show me a grass or water type if you want to face the gym leader. My first Pokemon is a grass type. Grass poison, more or less, but... Come on. Okay. Now let's fight... These trainers here are a bit different from those you faced so far. I probably wouldn't doubt that. 
Challenged by Picnic Hero Amara. Picnic Hero Amara sends out Geodude. Go Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Not Bulbasaur. And Fine Whip. And for some reason that just takes you out instantly. Got 35 XP for that. You're quite different from the trainers I faced. Got that right. <laughs> Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. I didn't know I was going to be going across this journey with a whole bunch of kids who are just kind of... Need to shut your mouth. <laughs> A little too egotistical or cocky or whatever. <sighs> We're gonna get me taken down anyway because I have Bulbasaur. And G dude's gone. Light years is also not what you expect it to be. It's not time, it's more of I don't know. I know it's not a length. Or it's no. It's I think it's speed. No, it's it, yeah. It's distance, not speed. Why I don't know what I'm talking about, but I know it's not something. Me being needed, I am. So you're here. I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. You could just look. Uh, be looking at my Pokemon. How rock hard my willpower is. Where are your Pokemon? Because I don't know. My Pokemon are all hearted as rock and have true grit determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all rock types. Fwa ha ha. You're going to challenge me even knowing you that you'll lose? That's what a trainer's er, honor demands. So be it. Show me your best. Another Wakanda forever joke. You are challenged by Jim, uh, Jim Leader Brock. Jim, Jim. Go Bulbasaur. Fine, whip. That still takes a hefty amount out of you. Fine, whip. Got 45 XP from that. Eh. I was sending out Onyx. I am not switching my Pokemon because that would have been. That'd be a dumb idea. <laughs> Bad whip. Crack. Oh, frick. I forgot about that. Bag. Since I don't have any revives, I have to use potions. Before my Pokemon do eventually faint. Using Headbutt. And you're done. So I basically just defeated the gym leader. Yay! <laughs> It's like my third time doing this. I'm tired. I'm tired right now. I'm tired of this. Whatever. I just want to get to a part where I haven't played yet. So it's basically everything after this gym. Ooh. Grew level 9. Wants to learn. Double kick. Should an old move be forgotten? Yes. Possibly. I don't really care for Growl or Tail Whip because I don't use them as often as everybody else does. I'm like that 1% of people who don't. Well, not really 1%. I mean, maybe like 5 to 30% who don't use Growl or Tackle or not Tail, tackle, tail Whip or whatever. But. This proves your victory. Take an official Pokemon League badge, a Boulder badge. 
You got a Boulder Badge from Brock. The Boulder Badge, Pokemon up to okay. Oh, wait, take this too. I got Headbutt. If you use a TM or a technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon with a move with it. Okay. Canane's Headbutt. It deals damage to your opponent's Pokemon by ramming them with a head as rock is, or heart as rock. Yay, we're done with the gym. And there's a special character waiting for us outside this gym. Everybody knows who this is. Hey, you, there, you newbie. Don't tell me you've got to be fallen, right? I... I am. That's amazing. Hi, huh, I knew it. I'm always right. I'm blue. I heard from a gramps that two new kids set out from Pallet Town to become trainers. Like, just like I did once. So I came to check you out. I was thinking you might need, want some advice on how to beat the gym from an expert trainer like me, but... Looks like I showed up too late, huh? Seems you're not too shabby yourself. So I guess you earned a reward, newbie. Come on, newbie! <laughs> you got five great balls from blue. Yay, now I have great balls. Those are even better for catching Pokemon than plain old Pokeballs. And hey, a thing you got there, that's a Pokedex, right? So Gramps finally went and made one. He used to make me just scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. Better do a good job helping him out. He may be a, prof a Professor Oak to you, and sure, he's an old coot, but he stole my gramps. Smell you later, newbie. And that newbie reference with me doing this was all night, if you didn't know that. My Hero Academia. I'd still be really surprised if you didn't even know that, but... I'm going to have to leave this episode here. I hope that this all goes right and nothing has been messed up. And if nothing gets messed up, cool. But I will have to see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.